Hi guys, welcome back. So now we're going to talk about efficiency. Well, this is a concept that sort of probably you already know from your intermediate micro or macro courses, um, proto efficiency. So it's exactly the same concept. It's just applied to the game theory framework. So now the, we're going to talk about efficiency of strategy profiles. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, uh, strategy profiles being efficient or inefficient. And why do we care about this? Well, because we don't, I mean, when we search for uh, potential solutions of a game, uh, you know, if we, if we recommend, if we suggest a solution which is inefficient, is not really a good thing, right? So efficiency is, is one of the uh, important key concepts in economic theory. So here, let me first define what we mean by a strategy profile being more efficient than another strategy profile. And then second, I'm going to define what we mean by efficient strategy profile. All right, so a strategy profile S, so it's a profile, all right? So meaning uh, it's a vector S1, S2, all the way to Sn, so depending on the number of players. So this vector of uh, strategies is more efficient than another strategy profile S prime if um, every player, every I thinks S gives him at least as high as as, as high utility payoff as S prime, um, but some of them are going to say, well, S gives me strictly higher payoff. All right, so that means everybody prefers weakly prefers S to S prime and some players strictly prefers S to S prime. Okay, so basically everybody's situation payoff wise will be improved weekly uh, if they move from S prime to S. All right, so a strategy profile S is called efficient if there exists no other strategy profile that is more efficient than S, as simple as this. Um, so once again, uh, this is nothing but uh, Predo efficiency, uh, the standard efficiency concept. So let's apply this idea into this game. So let's find out all the efficient strategy profiles. For example, is the strategy profile UL efficient? Well, how do I check this? Well, the question I should ask is there any other strategy profile in this game which gives uh, both players uh, a, a better payoff, weekly at least, all right? I mean, one of them can get the same payoff, but if this is the case, the second guy should be getting strictly higher payoff. Well, here, the 16 payoff is very high, and there's no way I can give this guy, I mean, there's no other strategy profile where player one can get something equal to 16 or higher than 16. So I don't really need to look at the second player, therefore, okay? Um, this uh, strategy profile is efficient, okay? Um, what else? Well, uh, so UL is uh, efficient, so let me put star here. What about ML? Is ML efficient? Well, is there any way to make both guys better off, right? That's the idea. Well, it is. When I look at this game payoff, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the matrix form, I actually see that MR, right? So MR, which means the payoff 10 3 is strictly better for both player one and player two. So therefore, uh, instead of playing ML, if these two guys play MR, they both will be better off. And hence, that means there exists S prime that is more efficient than S. So this ML is not uh, uh, efficient, okay? So ML is not efficient. Okay, good. Um, what about DL? So six, seven, hmm. Uh, well, I can s immediately say this is also efficient, so I'm gonna put star here. Why so? Well, because the seven payoff for the second guy is the highest he can achieve. There's no other payoff in this game where I can give him seven or more. Uh, so all the other payoffs are giving player two seven, less than seven. So therefore, if, I mean, any other strategy profile is definitely going to make player two worse off. 
So therefore, there is no uh, uh, more efficient strategy than DL. Hence, DL is a stra uh, efficient strategy profile. What about UC? Well, UC is, well, zero minus four. It's very low. Uh, it's clearly not efficient. For example, MC is going to give both. I mean, here, it really doesn't matter whether you keep player one strategy, player two strategy fixed. All right. So again, look at the definition. So the, the definition says nothing about S and S prime. I mean, it doesn't say you have to keep the other player's strategy fixed or something like this. So the dominance strategy and this efficiency concept have nothing to do. All right. So they're completely uh, logically independent. All right. So uh, th that means when I compare UC, I can compare it with any other strategy profile. I mean, for example, I can compare it with MR. So then three. So that means there is a way for both of these guys to make a better payoff uh, than zero minus four. So this is not efficient. What about two five? Um, well, it's not efficient. Why is that? Well, because there's another strategy profile, DL, where both uh, can actually get higher payoff. So this is not efficient either. Zero one, same. This DL guy is going to give him, uh, give them higher payoff. Uh, what about eight four? Um, well, you know what? Uh, that's a good comparison. The first guy can get better than eight. For example, here he can get 16, he can get eight. Uh, I mean, when I sort of cross those strategies, it means they are not efficient, but you know, these are still, uh, you know, uh, payoffs that the players can achieve in this case. So you, you, you can still consider them. So 16 is good for player one, but you know, three is not good for player four. So therefore, uh, this is, I mean, this is not an S prime sort of more efficient. This is not more efficient than this. Uh, this is also not more efficient than this because player two is getting worse off. This is more, this is not more efficient than this because clearly player one is getting less payoff. So here, these are not more efficient. Um, so this is not more efficient. So you know what? There's no more efficient payoff than you are. And so therefore it's efficient. And what else? So this guy, okay. So MR, so this is not efficient. Why is that so? Because there is more efficient strategy profile, which is UL. How is it more efficient? Well, the second guy is getting exactly the same payoff, but the first guy is getting strictly better payoff. So if you look at the definition, uh, everybody is going to say playing S is going to be uh, bringing me as high as uh, S prime, uh, but at least one guy says it's going to bring me higher payoff, which is the first player here. So therefore, um, 10 3 payoff or MR is not an efficient payoff. Um, and for zero, well, it's clearly not efficient because, for example, UR is, is more efficient than uh, DR. So this is also not efficient. So when you look at the efficiency in this game, there are only one, two, three uh, strategy profiles that are efficient. Um, by the way, I mean, if you remember our previous discussion, remember we said D is a dominated strategy, dominated strategy. Um, so the domination, the dominated strategy and efficiency, are they re re sort of related? Um, once again, the definitions are completely and logically independent. All right. And there is no always uh, sort of a direct relation between them. Uh, but I cannot say they are irrelevant. Uh, of course, there's some relevance, right? Um, but once again, I mean, uh, you know, strict dominance or dominance and the efficiency, uh, they're not the same concepts. They're logically independent concepts. So, for example, D is a dominated strategy, but nevertheless, one strategy profile is, is an efficient, all right? So, uh, th that's a good example that you may have a dominant strategy, but the strategy profile, uh, which includes the, your dominated uh, strategy, could actually be efficient. And well, that's perfectly normal. Why is that so? Well, because the second guy, remember, the L is not a dominant, a dominated strategy. And so for that reason, uh, this, this guy is efficient. 
you can, I mean, uh, make a, a more general argument. So in a game like this, if a strategy profile, if the strategies in a strategy profile are dominated for all players, well, then uh, it cannot be efficient. Is this true? Yes, it is true. So this is, for example, a theorem that you can prove uh, uh, or disprove uh, depending on the game. But, uh, well, it's, it's in general true. But here it's, it's not true because, as I said, uh, the strategy profile DL, the second guy's strategy, which is L, is not a dominated strategy. And hence, it can be efficient. There's nothing contradicting with what I just said. Okay, so uh, this is it about efficiency.